In this video, we're going to be adding ceilings, soffit walls, and ceiling components to a reflected ceiling plan. Um, one thing I'm going to warn you about now is that this program I'm using to make the video does not like letting me use the spacebar to rotate elements, so I'm going to be pausing periodically throughout the video, and things will just appear where they're supposed to be. And uh, I'll use that as a time-saving feature as well so that you don't have to watch me fumble around and put things in place. Uh, let's go and get started. We're going to add in ceiling elements and uh, lighting fixtures, mechanical elements, all to this area right here. So to get started with that, let's kind of zoom in and select ceiling. This is very much like floors, only it gives you a default automatic ceiling. And we're going to put automatic ceilings in all four of these rooms. Click Modify. Select a grid from each of the bathrooms. And change this from your 2x4 construction to 2x2 two two systems. OK. Now I don't like the way that this grid is. So I am actually going to click on one of these grids and see if I can align to keep this line here and move this line to it. So now this is a little bit more centered up. I'm also going to say uh, keep this line here, move this line to it. That didn't quite turn out the way I wanted, but it's pretty close. Okay. I'm going to end up putting a light right in the middle of this room here. So I was trying to get these in such a way that I could do that. This is close enough. All right. Now we're going to need to go back to architecture. Click on component. And we're going to be adding some new families. So on your load family tool, we're going to be looking for some different lighting fixtures and some mechanical elements. Lighting is here. Architectural. Internal. We're going to be looking for the, oh, where is it? We have recessed can lights. Oh, downlight, recessed can. As well as a trophy light, two feet by two feet and two feet by four feet. Select open. And we're also going to be loading in under mechanical, architectural, airside components for air terminals, both the square return register and the square supply diffuser. These are both ceiling components. With the square return registers, we're going to put one of these in each bathroom, and we're going to place them in near the center of the room. Try and match it up with your grid. Uh, we're also going to be placing them in this main room here. If we count over two, three grids, and down two from there. And that should be all of the air returns that we're concerned with. We're going to go ahead and start adding in some lights now. We'll do the square ones first. We have the trophy light, two feet by two feet, 120 volt. We'll put these right underneath the air return. And then we have to switch to two feet by four feet. 
and put those into both of these rooms here. This is what this should look like when you're done putting in the lights. You should have one, two, three, four of the two foot by four foot. We already put in the registers and we put in the um, two foot by two foot lights together. I also have this one rotated and it's put in all by itself in the janitor's closet. Now we're going to go back into our architecture tab, click on ceiling again. We're going to be adding a ceiling to this area here, but we can't use automatic ceiling anymore, so we have to sketch out our own ceiling. I'm just going to use lines for everything. I'm going to start at this corner. Just kind of work my way around. Check OK. And we are going to be changing this to a GWB on metal stud. And let's also change the height offset to 10 feet. Alright, make sure the height offset is at 10 feet. I guess mine already is. Let's see what this looks like. So we're going to go below ceiling plans to our uh, sections. We have an east-west building section. It's where part of the building has been cut away. And here's a new piece that we just added. Okay, and we're going to be adding a, they call it a um, soffit wall. That's going to be running from the ceiling down to this. We're going to have it from 10 feet up extend up to the second floor and so we offset by one foot to get around all of this stuff. Go ahead and return to the first floor ceiling plan. Select wall and under type we're going to change this to a soffit half inch And we're going to change a couple of things. Uh, location line is no longer wall center line. It's going to be the finish face interior. Base offset is going to be 10. Top constraint is going to go up to the second floor with an offset of negative one foot. Now using our line command, we're going to draw the wall from here to here. Hit escape. Double click out of it with your middle mouse wheel and let's take a camera to see what this now looks like. And I probably shouldn't have been in the ceiling view when I use my camera because now it's taking it from a higher location. But you can see now this goes all the way up. And instead of it just being an empty space up here, we now have this um, soffit wall. Switch back to your first floor plan view. Go to architecture component and you're going to select your 6 inch 120 volt recessed cans and I want you to go ahead and place them in here in a line so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those and using the trick we talked about earlier with the equal spacing I want you to go through and make sure that these are all equally spaced If you forget how exactly to do that, you click on the 
a line dimension. You click on a wall, then on each feature, and there's an EQ button that'll appear over here somewhere. You select that and it'll all equally space themselves out. We're going to add an extra area over this uh, breakfast nook here. And first I'm going to click on this rounded wall. Check that the, the radius of this is 15 feet. And I'm going to go back to architecture, ceiling, and start to sketch out my own ceiling with a circle. And I'm going to make this 15. So it should match the same inside radius. Uh, using the center point, I'll make a smaller circle inside of it. So we'll leave it open in the middle. We may end up moving these. Let's go ahead and move it to where it's matching up with our semi-round wall that we had before. We can't have this going right through the middle of it, so we're going to have to click on line, come to where it intersects, sketch that out, use our trim, select the two things that you want to keep. something went wrong. Let's try that again. So I want to keep this piece and this piece. The line is too short. Try one more time. Click on the short one. Click on the circle. Now it actually works for me. Let's finish our ceiling mode. Now it puts in a ceiling for us just on the selected place. Uh, we are going to go back and add a soffit onto this. So let's make sure the ceiling type. We're going to change to uh, gypsum wallboard on metal studs. So it doesn't have the funny looking grids on it as a circle. And then we're going to go back to architecture, wall. We're going to keep it as a soffit but with the following parameters. We have the location line be the finished face interior. Base offset, or base constraint is first floor. Base offset, 10 feet. Top constraint, we're gonna say first floor. And top offset is going to be 12, in, or 12 feet. We're going to use our pick lines and pick this inside hole of the ceiling. And then click ceiling again. And use the sketch ceiling to draw a ceiling inside the open area. We're going to use pick walls. and select just these walls and finish in the type selector we're going to go back make sure it's gypsum wallboard on metal studs and set the height offset from the level and change this to 12 Come back to the first floor plan, go to camera view, we're going to be taking a picture over here, I want you to see what your ceiling looks like now that we just added, I want to see a screenshot of this, print it out and turned in for points for today.